Hi, I'm Randall Orndorf, a geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey. Lately, there have been quite a few sinkholes that have developed across the United States. One recently has taken a life. I'd like to take a moment just to talk about what sinkholes are and where they occur. Now, sinkholes generally occur in what we call karst terrains, and karst terrains are basically areas that are underlain by soluble rock, rocks that can dissolve like limestone, gypsum, and salt. Rainwater naturally is acidic when it gets underground into these rocks over long periods of time, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of years, the rocks will, will, uh, will dissolve and, re and will leave caverns and voids underground. As these voids grow upward, the soil on top can no longer sustain itself and we get these catastrophic collapses. Now about 20% of the United States is underlain by this karst terrain. Areas such as Florida, almost the entire state is under limestone, but there are many other areas. Just about every state has some sort of soluble rock. Now, karst sinkholes, there's also other types of sinkholes, sinkholes that are man-induced. Cities, urban areas are underlain by pipelines, by sewer lines, water mains, and things like that that are basically man-made caves. So anytime you have a void underground, just like the natural cave system, you have the potential for collapse. As our aging infrastructure deteriorates, we're finding that cracks in these sewer lines and water mains will cause the soil to leak down into those, also causing collapse. Now, at the U.S. Geological Survey, one of our big tools in trying to understand where sinkholes occur are geologic maps. By mapping the geology of an area, we can determine where the limestones, the salt or gypsum, these soluble log rocks are, both at the surface and the subsurface, and that's a first step in understanding what areas are at risk. And risk is the first thing we need to look at before we can actually look at individual areas. For more information on sinkholes, on geologic maps, and other natural hazards, please visit usgs.gov.